How are you guys? This is Mr. Argetta coming to you via virtually here. Wanted to give you a quick video, give you an understanding of what to expect in our class. I will be the instructor for this course. I also wanted to introduce myself and let you know who you'll be working with this semester. Um, but really quickly, don't want to take up too much time. So this is probably a few days before our start of our semester. And I wanted to give you a video that will explain to you what you'll be looking at on a week to week basis. So I want you to first uh, be aware that all the course material will start on uh, Monday at uh, 12 a.m., which is Sunday night, technically, I guess. Uh, and every week that material will be available for you to complete till Sunday at 11.59 p.m. So essentially you have a week long worth of time to complete your assignments. Um, this is Blackboard that you're looking at. Blackboard will have these tabs. Let me show you what yours will look like. You'll be missing this bottom portion, of course, and you'll have this. And what we'll be working on most of the time, and I would say 99% of the time, is here where it says weekly assignments. So let me give you a quick view of what that looks like on a week by week basis. So every week as we get the week started, as I mentioned, at about midnight on Monday or Sunday night going into Monday, you'll have a folder open up which says week one, week two, week three, week four, week five, week six, and week seven. And in week one, essentially what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on that folder, you're gonna have your syllabus that explains how you'll be graded. I can go through that very quickly with you. Um, essentially what you'll be doing is, this gives you all the competencies of the course, but I want you to be aware of this portion here because it's important for you to understand how you're evaluating in the class. 30% of your grade is the Learn Smart, also considered or also called Smart Book. Uh, that's an adaptive learning tool. I want you to understand that if you go through that process and you tell it that you don't quite understand the information, it's going to continue to give you questions. So it'll take you a longer time to complete the core of that, por that portion. So you want to make sure you read the chapter and really understand the information before you answer those questions. And when you answer them, you say, I know this, because then it will speed that process up. 30% will be your weekly quizzes and homework assignments. Uh, keep in mind the quiz questions every week will be part of your midterm and final. So uh, I do not give a study guide because every week you'll be seeing the questions that you'll be having in your midterm and final. So keep that in mind. Find a way to figure out how to save those questions because they're gonna come back up. All right, so 30% is quizzes and homework. 30% is your discussions. I am a stickler about discussions. Every week, you will have to complete a discussion. Uh, discussions vary in topics, but you will reply to two students and a video that I post weekly, just saying hi and letting you know what's going on in the class. So you'll have four total interactions in discussion. Your original post, reply to two students, classmates post, and reply to my weekly update video. And then 10% is based on your midterm and your final. All right, so that gives you an idea of how you're gonna be evaluated. And then, as I mentioned the first week, which is this folder that we're looking at, uh, week one, you wanna complete the syllabus quiz as soon as you get started, because that's going to let me know that you are actively involved and in participating in the class and understand where to find things. If you fail to complete that, unfortunately, the system recognizes you didn't do any work and it's gonna drop you from the class by the end of the first week. And then you have your chapter assignments, chapter one and chapter two, plus here's your discussion. This week, of course, introduction, pretty simple. It's just letting you know, you know, getting to know each other, that type of stuff. But chapter one and chapter two will look very similar. You have that smart book that I mentioned, that's the adaptive learning process. Then you have your homework, and then you have your quiz. Every chapter is structured exactly the same. Here's chapter two. There's your smart book, your homework, and your quiz. And every week we'll be covering two chapters per week and a discussion. So it should be pretty straightforward. After that, you'll see, I'll show you, week number two, pretty much the same thing, chapter three, chapter four, and your discussion, all right? Um, 
inside of your discussion. So once you click on this, I will create a thread like you do with my video that you're going to be looking for. So once you uh, go through the discussion and you're ready to do your discussions, look for my video. It's usually an update. It's not nothing. The replies are really just tell me about yourself. Tell me what's going on in your week. Share with me. I share things that's going on in my week and what's happening in our class. It's not like an official homework. It's just kind of communicating, connecting with you guys. It's an opportunity for us to get to know each other. So um, that's uh, pretty much it. Uh, I do not recommend you use this discussion tab. Always go to your weekly discussions to do your discussions because this is all of them. And if you go ahead, you're not going to be on target with what we're doing. Um, you can look at it, but I recommend you just do it week by week. It'd be the best way to handle it. I do not grade ahead. I do not accept late work. I do not work ahead. So I only work on the week that we're working on. Um, uh, once again, Please keep in mind, I do not give extensions and I do not accept late work. Um, that's a policy I've had. And during the semester, you'll learn a little more as to why. Um, I think that covers it. It's going to be a fast moving, fast paced course. We'll be done within seven weeks. Our midterm is week four. And then, of course, our final will be week seven. So uh, be ready to kind of get the work done and, you know, just kind of whirl through it. Uh, the best way to reach me is through my email. I get it on my phone. That's lrgetta at gntc.edu. Uh, you can try calling me in the office, but I move around a lot. I get a lot of uh, outside uh, contracts that I corporate train, so I'm not always in my office. Uh, but the easiest and most efficient way to reach me is via email. Uh, other than that, that's about it, guys. I hope um, we have a great time. Let me know if I can do anything to help you. Um, lastly, to get access to the material, you guys have what's called inclusive access. You just have to click on Chapter 1 and click on your first assignment, and that's going to allow you to register and have access to your book. You don't need a physical book. And you don't need to buy an access code. It's included in your tuition. So all you have to do is click on the first assignment and that'll allow you to connect to McGraw Hill and get your work started. So make sure you get that as soon as possible. Other than that, I think that's about it, guys. I hope you have a wonderful week this week and we will see each other on Monday. None of this is up yet, so don't go looking for it because it won't open up until Monday. Have a great week, guys. Enjoy the time off because we're going to move very fast, and uh, we will see each other soon. Take care.